Ever thought about how reality might not be as straightforward as it seems? What if we told you that some things in life contradict themselves in such a way that they can both exist and not exist at the same time? Well, welcome to the captivating world of paradoxes. These are intriguing situations that defy our conventional understanding of reality, creating a puzzle that seems impossible to solve. In essence, a paradox is a statement or proposition that, despite sound reasoning from acceptable premises, leads to a conclusion that seems logically unacceptable or self-contradictory. Paradoxes come in many flavors, logical, mathematical, and philosophical. Logical paradoxes are statements that are self-contradictory or absurd, but in reality, express a possible truth. An example is the statement, this sentence is false. If it's true, then it must be false. But if it's false, then it must be true. Confusing, isn't it? Mathematical paradoxes, on the other hand, are statements that contradict basic concepts of mathematics. They often result from an unintended violation of some underlying assumption. An example is the Hilbert's Hotel Paradox. A fully occupied hotel with infinitely many rooms can still accommodate new guests. Then there are philosophical paradoxes which reveal inconsistencies within our understanding of the world around us. They challenge our beliefs and force us to rethink our perspectives. The famous Ship of Theseus paradox, which questions whether an object that has had all its components replaced remains fundamentally the same object, is a classic example. These paradoxes, while they may seem like mere brain teasers, actually serve a much greater purpose. They challenge the way we perceive reality and force us to question our understanding of the world. They push the boundaries of our knowledge and stimulate intellectual exploration. Ready to delve into the mind-bending world of paradoxes? Strap yourself in, it's going to be a wild ride. Imagine a town where the barber shaves everyone who doesn't shave themselves. Now does the barber shave himself? This is the question at the heart of the barber paradox. Let's break it down. If the barber does shave himself, then according to the town rule, he isn't supposed to. Because he only shaves those who do not shave themselves. But if he doesn't shave himself, then by the same rule, he should shave himself because he shaves those who do not shave themselves. This conundrum, my friends, is a classic example of a logical paradox where a situation or statement leads to a self-contradiction. It's like a loop that keeps circling back on itself, defying our usual understanding of logic and reason. So who shaves the barber? That's the paradox. It's a question that doesn't seem to have a straightforward answer. And that's precisely what makes it so mind-bogglingly intriguing. What if you could travel back in time and accidentally kill your grandfather before your father was born? Would you still exist? This mind-bending question forms the basis of the grandfather paradox, a concept that challenges our understanding of time and reality. Picture this. You've hopped into your time machine, dialed back the years, and arrived at a point before your father's birth. By some tragic accident, you cause your grandfather's premature demise. If your grandfather never lived to see your father's birth, then logically, your father, and by extension you, should never have existed. But here's the paradox. If you never existed, then who traveled back in time to cause your grandfather's death? This scenario creates a loop of events, each one negating the other, resulting in an inconsistency in the timeline. It's a classic example of the paradoxical nature of time travel that has perplexed philosophers and scientists alike. Could you still exist if your grandfather didn't? Another paradox for you to ponder. If a ship has all of its parts replaced piece by piece, is it still the same ship? This is the question at the heart of the Ship of Theseus paradox. The paradox presents a dilemma that challenges our understanding of identity and change. Imagine a ship, the ship of Theseus, renowned for its adventures across the seven seas. Over time, each piece of the ship is replaced due to wear and tear. Eventually, every single part of the original ship has been replaced. Is the ship that sails today the same as the one that embarked on those early voyages? Our instinct might be to say yes, it's the same ship, because it maintains the same form and function. But if all the components are different, how can it truly be the same entity? And if it is not, when did the original ship cease to exist? Is it the same ship or a new one? The paradox remains. Can an omnipotent being create a stone so heavy that it cannot lift it? This intriguing question introduces us to the paradox of omnipotence. It's a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of unlimited power. At first glance, you may think, of course, an omnipotent being can do anything, but wait, if this being creates a stone so heavy that it can't lift, then there's something it cannot do. Lift the stone. But if it can lift the stone, then there's something it cannot do. Create a stone so heavy that it cannot lift it. So we're stuck in a loop, a paradox. 
This paradox teaches us that even the concept of omnipotence, or unlimited power, has its limitations. It's a paradox that forces us to rethink what we mean by unlimited and all-powerful. Can omnipotence be truly limitless? That's the paradox. A teacher announces that there will be a surprise test next week, but the test won't be a surprise if the students can predict when it will happen. So when will the test be? Welcome to the paradox of the unexpected examination, a mind-bending riddle that delves into the realms of expectation and unpredictability. It's a conundrum that has puzzled thinkers for generations. Here's the thing. If the students reach the final day of the week without having had the test, then it can't be a surprise because they know it must happen that day. Therefore, they rule out the last day. But then, considering that, the second to last day becomes the new last day, and they rule that out too. This logic continues, eliminating each day until there are none left. But then, if the teacher gives the test on a day they've ruled out, it will indeed be a surprise. This paradox highlights the fascinating interplay between knowledge, expectation, and the element of surprise. When will the test be, really? Another paradox for your thoughts. This statement is a lie. But if the statement is a lie, then it must be true. So is the statement true or false? Now, let's dive into the paradox of the liar. This paradox is a classic example of self-reference, where the statement refers to itself. It's a sentence that's stuck in a loop, forever bouncing between being true and false. And imagine a switch that flips every time you make a statement about it. If you say it's on, it flips to off. If you say it's off, it flips to on. That's basically what's happening with the liar paradox. But here's the kicker. It's not just about being a fun brain teaser. This paradox actually exposes a fundamental problem in our understanding of the concepts of truth and falsehood. We like to think of truth and falsehood as binary, as black and white. But this paradox shows that sometimes they can be a little gray. Is the statement true or false? That's the paradox. As we journeyed through these paradoxes, did we challenge your understanding of reality? Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've unraveled. We began with the paradox of reality where we questioned the very nature of existence itself. The possibility that our perceived reality might just be an illusion. A perplexing thought, isn't it? Then we moved on to the barber paradox, a simple yet mind-boggling scenario. A barber who shaves everyone who does not shave themselves. So if the barber does not shave himself, he must shave himself. But if he does shave himself, then he must not. It's a loop that challenges our understanding of logic. We then delved into the grandfather paradox, a staple of time travel narratives. If you went back in time and prevented your grandfather from meeting your grandmother, would you cease to exist? It's a paradox that blurs the lines between cause and effect. Next, we examined the ship of Theseus paradox, a question of identity. If a ship has all its parts replaced, is it still the same ship? It's a paradox that makes us question the nature of identity and change. We also explored the paradox of omnipotence, a theological conundrum. Could an all-powerful entity create a stone so heavy that it couldn't lift it? This paradox challenges our understanding of power and its limits. The paradox of the unexpected examination followed, a puzzle about anticipation. If a teacher announces an unexpected test, can it still be unexpected? It's a paradox that explores the notion of expectation and surprise. Finally, we delved into the paradox of the liar, a riddle about truth and falsehood. If a liar declares that they're lying, are they telling the truth? It's a paradox that forces us to reevaluate our understanding of truth. Reality, as it turns out, is full of paradoxes. But that's what makes it all the more fascinating, doesn't it?